Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel RG Coding Tips. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bells so that you never miss an update. In today's video, we are going to add a functional and custom slider to our previous music web player design by using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It can also sync with the webs we have added in our previous videos. So let's start the video. I have made some changes by adding the icons, thumbnail, and the slider. You can check out the links in the description to get the codes. Now we are going to use JavaScript to make the slider functional and also sync with the webs. To do that, open the JavaScript file. And after this section, we are going to add the codes. So this will load the song for our web design. After that, we add the variable progress to get the element progress from our HTML file. And also, we add that the variable CTRL icon to get the element ID CTRL icon. Now we are going to add a variable called is seeking. We are going to make it false uh, so that there won't be any mistake when the slider is dropped. After that we write this will be the function where our song will be playing. In this line we are going to get the duration of the song. After that, we add this variable will create a span for our duration so that we can display it to the page. Let's call that. We are going to need the time format for that. And the time format will be in minutes and seconds. So we are going to define a function. So this is our time format to be displayed on our page. After that, we are going to add a function play post to play and post our song. If the control icon contains the list post, then we are going to post the song. And this will remove the post icon. Replicate it and we are going to add the play icon. That means when we click post, the song will be paused and our icon will be changed. And else, this will be the other part where our icon would be changed opposite to the above. More than 80% of you are not subscribed. So please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more useful content like this. So in this line, we are going to get the value of the progress bar when the slider is dragged and it will change the color. So in order to change the color, we are going to add So we can see that when we slide, the web is also synced to it. We can also add the function restart to make it play from the start when the song has finished playing. To do that, we add function. When we set the progress value to zero, it will restart the song. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next time.